Well, welcome to 95 North Woods here in Breckenridge. And we are entering into the, um, uh, the entryway. Uh, this is the main part of the house that you would access, which in reality, most people are gonna access from the garage, but any guests will come through the front door. So let's take a look at this beautiful property. Like I said, it's not furnished, it's newly constructed, but look at this great room. It is just massive. Look at these tall windows are just amazing. I can't wait to see this with furniture in it, or I can't wait to hear about the family that is gonna have this opportunity to enjoy this legacy home. The property is five bedrooms, seven baths, and is just a little bit over 6,000 square feet. What else can I tell you about this beautiful property? I mean, the views of the mountains are filtered, but the views that you get are just beautiful. Okay, let's start with some of the finishes that they have here. Beautiful stone work that they have going up this entire wall. And then they have brought that over to the kitchen area and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Kind of throwing in a little bit of the rustic feel, but really this home is truly modern. You've got the French oak flooring in that medium stain that we talked about yesterday um, and how they're going a little bit darker these days with the new interior trends. And then you've got the metal fireplace. This is a gas uh, fireplace, so no need to bring in wood and deal with all that mess. Um, this will be easy for you to turn on. And then you've got the metal going all the way up to the top of the ceiling. Oh, it's just beautiful and really a statement piece. Okay, before we go any further, we should turn around and look through this window over here. I mean, you're looking at, I think that's Ptarmigan over in Silverthorn. That's like a big distance away. And it doesn't look like much. My husband's gonna try to zoom in on that and see if you could kind of get a, a glimpse of that, but it's really a beautiful view. All right, so you've got your living space. Before we go to the kitchen, I wanted to show you this huge patio. You've got the nano doors here. So you can open this up all the way, both sides, so that you have just open concept living. You are inside, you are outside, but your, you know, your living room is right here. You've got a gas stub for your barbecue right up against that wall. And the, um, the stone has been brought outside also. I've mentioned this before. I love that concept of bringing the outdoors inside and vice versa. So you've got um, the cedar, you've got the stone, and then you've got elements of some metal here and there. You've got a fire pit right here that's gas, and you have views of Peak 8. Um, you can see the Horseshoe Bowl and people skiing down it. It's just been so incredibly beautiful here in the high country. Oh my gosh, March is just such an amazing month. But if you could imagine nice outdoor seating here, here you would probably put your dining room table or over there, um, or really over there. You know, you have your choice where you wanna put your dining room table. And this will be just such a nice space for everybody to enjoy in the warmer months. Let's head back in. 
All right, so then you come into this area where they have this beautiful chandelier. Imagine a nice big round table here would be really interesting. And then you have this very large kitchen. So you have a, I believe this is a 48 inch six burner stove with the grill. It's sub wolf. And you've got, let's see, Bosch appliances. You've got two sinks. You have a prep sink and then you've got your, your main kitchen sink. And look how massive this refrigerator freezer combo is. I mean, this is huge. Then you've got some area for people to sit. I would say you've got about seating for four to six comfortably. Then over here, you have a nice breakfast nook. I really like this chandelier that they picked out with access to go out to the um, patio that we were just showing off. Again, looking at the lighting, this is very nice. I like this simple, modern, then incorporated with the stonework that kind of gives off a little bit of that rustic feel to it. Beautiful uh, countertops. I mean, I love the veining in this. And it's kind of a grayish color. That's very pretty. And then they did solid gray, light gray on the other side. One of the features that I really liked about this, and I was kind of trying to decide how to show this to you. So let's walk, actually, let's walk right through. And let's just take a quick peek at the garage. You have a three car garage. The floor has been finished with the epoxy finish. And so you pull your car in, you come up the stairs, you walk in from the grocery store with all your bags of groceries, and you come here, you've got your mud room, you take your dirty shoes off and your jacket, and then you come into, you've got laundry right here, got a pantry closet, linen closet, whatever you need that to be. But then you walk into your pantry, your butler pantry, where you can just put all your groceries away in stages. So filling everything up, you know, all your canned goods, all your food. And then you've got a wet bar over here with a beverage center. And then this does come with another dishwasher. So this considered your butler pantry. This is where you can prep and then you come in and you can put the rest of your groceries away in the refrigerator. I love the convenience. That is a new trend that they are doing when designing homes is to have that access to go from the garage mudroom into your pantry closet. Okay. Well, let's go upstairs to the primary. Oh, and one thing I forgot, as you walk into the entry, you have a half bath here. And the only reason why I'm pointing this out is I love the tile. Very pretty statement piece, no need for, you know, major artwork. You might want to put a picture on the wall. You have beautiful floating stairs with the metal, um, handrail and then you've got the glass here so not to impede on the view or the light that's coming in and again look every room has a different angle with the mountains
So here you have your primary bedroom with a fireplace and the stone going all the way up to the ceiling. I like the way they did the wood up above just to give it a warm texture. Your doors are at least nine feet. <laughs> These things are huge. And the ceilings are very tall also. Now they say that, you know, the trend is more of the browns. So you can see the tile with the light marbling has more of the brown tones to it. And then very neutral floor. You've got your freestanding tub and a beautiful large shower. Your primary closet is completely finished out for you. So that's another really nice feature that you don't have to work with a designer to figure out all the, how many drawers you want and how many places to hang clothes, etc. Just makes it easy. Across the hallway, now look at this. Love that lighting fixture. And again, you've got the views of the mountains. It's a very dramatic home. You've got another bedroom with a three quarter bath. You've got, oh, I'm just going in here. You have the ribbed tile. I love this tile. And it's done in kind of a taupey color. And then you've got the penny tile that matches it and just adds a little texture. All right, next. Over here, you have an office space you could potentially put two desks in here if you wanted to. So very simple. And then I didn't mention, um, the home does come complete with an elevator. Here you have another suite, and this is a full bath with another freestanding tub. And of course, beautiful views and a little balcony, a French balcony that you can open the doors and enjoy the, the nice weather. Closet is finished also. Then over here, you have your main laundry area. So we have two laundry centers in this home, I like the mosaic tile that they picked out. And then your stackables will happen right over here. One more bedroom. Another closet really nice bed. This would be where your bed would go. They framed it out. You've got views down valley if you wanted to take a peek through that window. And then another very spacious three-quarter bath. And this is super nice, this big tile. Hmm. I've never seen tile of this big before. That's a very large piece. Well, let's head down to the lower level. So while we're going down there, like I had mentioned, this property is located at the base of Peak 8. You do have to walk there, or there's a bus stop right at the end of the road, but literally it would take you five minutes to get to the lift if you were walking. You might enjoy that more than waiting for the bus and sometimes it will be crowded. 
Um, but it's an option, especially after skiing. If you're tired and you don't want to walk home, you can, well, on a really snowy day, we've seen people ski down the sidewalk to get to their place. So again, a great location. Now in the summertime, this is a fabulous location also because the ski area has kind of an adventure park. So there's a lot of activity that's happening at the ski area in the summertime. Plus the lifts are running. You can go hiking, you can go biking. Um, and if you want to make it easy on yourself, you can take the lift up and then go hiking around above the lift and then take the lift down. It's really up to you. The possibilities are endless. So down here is um, a nice bar area. I like the lights. Um, and then they have a controlled uh, wine room. It could be for cigars. It could be also for music instruments. Um, it can be a combination of all. Once again, they brought in the stone to have it complement the rest of the home. And I would think, where would you put, oh, well, they have it mounted or wired for the TV to be up here. You've got a wet bar or a beverage cooler, I should say. And then this might be, yes, a dishwasher. I love these tiny little dishwashers. I think they're super cute. And then this is probably going to be an ice maker, I would think. Let's see, it's here. Just drawers for storage. Half bath, nice tile. Another pantry closet here. And then this is most likely the bunk room. There's another bedroom, I believe, that we're gonna look at, but most likely this is another bunk room because you have the outlets up high. So let's uh, figure that out. You've got a three-quarter bath here. So you have two mudroom areas and here, ski rack, if you wanted. And that's it. This is the beautiful home. Like I said, this is your mechanical room is in here. Um, mechanical rooms are like puzzles. Let's just hone in on this. Because of the in-floor radiant heat, you've got so many copper tubes pipes, I should say, with all the shutoffs in there and, um, and a very, very large water heater. Typically a home this size, anything over 6,000 square feet would require a fire suppression system, meaning you would need two additional tanks um, of water so that God forbid there was a fire you know, you'd have a sprinkler system, but I mean, it's like the house is like 6,000 square feet, 6,010 square feet. So I didn't see a fire suppression in there. Um, again, this is just a lovely home. Let's go back upstairs. Failed to mention, well, if, that this would be your access point to get to the hot tub that is here and is included in the price of the home. Well, thanks for watching. Tell me what you thought of this house. It is, in my mind, the perfect spot for a family 
that a legacy property that is going to have say three generations that will get to enjoy or they know that three generations are coming um, and so this is a place where people can really gather and enjoy or you might be the type of person who loves to entertain this also would be a great corporate retreat if you were in the market for a property like this. That's a great idea. Um, let's also talk about, this is in zone three. There is no short-term rentals as of yet allowed in this location, but you can rent 30 days or more. So if you have a comment about this home, please leave it below. Um, if you're new to our channel, hit subscribe and the bell for notifications, and I will keep you in the know of everything that's happening in the Breckenridge area. And if you want a private tour of this home, just let me know. I would be happy to show you around. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a great day and we look forward to helping you find your way home.